Hello and welcome. My name is Kimberly Rose. I am the Assistant Director at Mpoko and I oversee Fellowship Program. We are really excited to welcome you to the ninth Annual Mpoko Photography Fellowship How to Apply session. To date, we have awarded 75 fellows and we are looking forward to including the next 10. An important and thrilling update this year is the increase to the award amount. We are proud to announce that the fellowship award has been raised from 1,000 to 1,500, a testament to our commitment in supporting the artistic pursuits of our fellows. Today, we will thoroughly explain each section of the application followed by a Q&A. We encourage you to send any questions by typing those directly via the chat feature, and we will address each of them at the end of the session. If you have any questions after the session has concluded, you can email those to fellowship at infoco.org. The Infoco Photography Fellowship Program is made possible with the generosity of an anonymous donor, the Joy of Giving Something, Inc., Ford Foundation, with public funds from New York City Department of Cultural Affairs, in partnership with the City Council, New York State Council on the Arts, with the support of Governor Kathy Hochul and the New York State Legislature. Before we begin, please note that this session will be made available on our website for you to access and review again. We want to make today's program as accessible as possible, so a recording of the session will be made available with closed captions. Infoco Inc. is a nonprofit that supports U.S.-based photographers of African, Asian, Latino, Native American, and Pacific Islander heritage. Founded in 1974, Infoco makes their work visible to the art world, yet remains accessible to underserved communities through exhibitions, workshops, events, and publications. It provides professional recognition, honoraria, and assistance to photographers as they grow into different stages of their careers. The Infoco Photography Fellowship Program is designed to support photographers of color who demonstrate the highest quality of work as determined by a photography panel of peers and industry professionals. As previously mentioned, we are excited to announce that this year's award amount has increased from 1,000 to 1,500. So what does the fellowship provide? The Photography Fellowship Program will award 10 fellowships at $1,500 each. The fellows will be included in a 2024 group exhibition in late spring. They will also be featured in the 2024 Nueva Luz publication, which will also be available in print and online late spring. Lastly, all of our fellows are provided with professional development and networking opportunities beyond the award. Before moving forward, I want to make clear that this opportunity is designed to support photographers of color who live in New York City and New York State. So who can apply? Photographers of Latino, African, Asian American heritage, Native peoples of the Americas, and Pacific Islanders. You must be a New York City or New York State resident for the past year at the time of submission, and you must show proof of residency at the time of submission and once you've been selected. The applicant must be at least 18 years of age. Collaborating photographers are eligible to apply, but only one photographer can submit the application. Previous fellowship recipients must wait three years before they can reapply. Lastly, photography for consideration must represent work completed after 2021. Now who cannot apply? Graduate or undergraduate students matriculated in fine art and or photography degree programs at the time of application submission. Lastly, Infocos board members and staff are ineligible to apply. About the panel process, the fellowships selected are based exclusively on the excellence and quality of work submitted. All work will be reviewed by panelists selected from a pool of photography-related professions, such as photographers, curators, critics, and collectors. Each year, new panelists are chosen to ensure a fresh perspective in the fellowship review process. And Focus Board of Directors will review the panel recommendations to assure the integrity of the process and formally approve the fellowship awardees. So once the panelists have made their selection and the board reviews them, we start notifying the awardees. Each fellowship recipient will be notified via email. 
the recipients will each receive $1,000 upon notification with the remaining balance of $500 to be remitted at the fellowship recipient's participation and completion in their exhibition. In the next few slides, we will go over the submission requirements step by step. Please note that the application form does not have to be completed in a single session. The system will save your draft application. We suggest you save often as you fill out the form and save a copy of any nar narrative draft on a separate Word document. First, you must create an account with Submittable.com. Here's a video on how to do that. Welcome to Submittable. Submittable is an online platform that thousands of organizations use to collect and review all kinds of submissions and applications. You can use Submittable to discover and submit to those opportunities. From grants and funding to contests and awards, from calls for creative work to residencies and workshops, and from scholarships and fellowships to conferences and exhibitions, even jobs and internships. Whatever it is you're looking for, you can find it on Submittable. You may have found us through Discover, our site of available opportunities, or through one of our partner organizations. After you create a free account, you're ready to make your first submission. As you fill out the form, be sure to refer to the guidelines to ensure that you qualify, follow the instructions, and note any required responses or fees. If you save a draft, you can come back to it later from within your account. When you submit, you'll receive a confirmation email. Sign into Submittable to check on your application status. You also may be able to message the organization or request to edit your submission. All organizations have a different process for reviewing content. If you have questions about your submission or the organization's review process or timeline, please contact the organization directly. You'll receive an email if and when your application is accepted, declined, or marked as complete. If you have any technical questions, the question mark in the top right will take you to our comprehensive help center. If you can't find an answer to your question, contact our friendly support team through the form. Thanks for joining Submittable, and congratulations on taking the first step toward landing your next great opportunity. We're glad you're here. Next, you'll submit some basic information. We'll ask for your name, your last name, and if applicable, an AKA or alias, your artist name. Please only use this field if you use a different name from your, for your artistic practice. Any pronouns, your mailing address, your email, your phone number, your ethnicity, your website, if applicable, your Instagram handle. You'll upload a headshot image and you'll upload a one page resume. Please upload your resume citing your artistic, professional and educational background. You'll upload a proof of residency. Submit one from any category below. Any of the following are considered acceptable. Photocopy of a recent New York State driver's license or New York State issued ID. Passports are not acceptable. A utility bill, phone, gas, electricity, cell phone bills are not acceptable. Copy of a rent receipt or lease agreement. Copy of a New York state or federal tax return. And you'll enter in your district council number. It is a two digit number. You can locate this number by going to council.nyc.gov slash districts and entering in your home address. This information will also be made available on the application. It is important to note this is only applicable to residents of New York City. If you reside in New York State, please just enter NA for not applicable. This information will also be available on the application itself. 
Next, you'll submit an artwork description, no more than 300 words. Please describe specific aspects of your work practices, such as subject matter, context, content, location, and personal relevance of your work you submitted. A work statement needs to be specific to the work you are presenting within your application. Don't let your ideas devolve into vague sentences or generalizations. Instead, hone in on some of the key factors that inspire the work in your application and describe how these elements relate to some of the larger ideas within your artistic practice. Questions to consider for your artwork description. What is the work about? What is your relationship with the subject matter? How does this work represent the primary concerns and intentions of your artistic practice? As an exercise, consider this question. How would you explain your work to someone who has never experienced it before? Next, you're going to submit a one-page resume and 150-word bio. Questions to consider when writing about an artist's life. Where you were born and where did you live after that? Where are you currently based? What has been your artistic inspiration and why? What is your favorite medium? Do you use any special techniques? Did you have a formal art education or were you self-taught? What are exhibitions you have been a part of? Is your work in any collections? Next, you're going to submit a 200 word artist statement. In an artist statement, you describe the primary interest of your practice. Your artist statement is a written description of your work that gives your audience deeper insight into it. It may include your personal history, the symbolism you give your materials, or the issues you address. Your statement should include whatever is most important to you and your work. Your artist statement supplements the visual information in your portfolio. Next, you will submit five to seven images. Five images are required for this application. An additional two are optional. Please follow the sizing guides. We highly recommend that the work submitted are from a series, but it is not a requirement to submit. And here are the file requirements. We are only accepting JPEGs. The file must be no smaller than 3,300 pixels on the longest side. The file resolution must be 300 DPI. Next, you will submit your headshot, which should be a 300 DPI JPEG. Please include a clear representative image of yourself. If selected for the fellowship, this image will be used on press and promotional materials, announcing you as an award recipient. Let's go over some important dates. The application is due November 11th, 2023 at 11.59 p.m. But don't wait until the last minute. It's important that you submit early. This allows us to answer any questions you may have while submitting or if there are any technical issues. In December, 2023, the panel will review the applications and make their selections. In February, 2024, the grant recipients will be notified via email. The recipients will receive the first payment of $1,000. Each recipient will hear back from the exhibition and Nueva Luz curator in February to coordinate exhibition details. Lastly, in June, 2024, you will receive your final $500 payment after your group exhibition. The recipients will each receive $1,000 upon notification of the award in February 2024, with the balance of $500 to be remitted at the fellowship recipient's participation and completion in their exhibition in June 2024. So here are some application tips. Give yourself plenty of time to upload your work samples and submit your application. Though every application is considered for review, panelists will quickly disregard applications where images were too small or terribly pixelated, where there is an obvious disregard for requested information or the content was copied and pasted from another application. Make sure you check for spelling and grammatical errors before you submit. Have a friend or colleague read through your support statement. 
I like to have a friend read out loud my statement so that I can hear where my written words might not translate well or flow easily for another reader. Try not to get discouraged. Applying for arts opportunities and funding is a practice in itself and is often as much a part of being an artist as being in the studio or out shooting photographs. Keep in mind that most review panels are always changing and every year offers a new opportunity. The majority of our artists apply multiple times before receiving most awards or grants. Just because you were not selected for an award doesn't mean your application wasn't strong or that your vision isn't worth pursuing. That being said, I'd like to mention some other opportunities offered by Enfoco. Enfoco has launched a new initiative called the Nueva Luz Study Center Commissioning Fund, which selects three artists to create new work using the Nueva Luz Study Center as a catalyst to explore historical contexts, artists, and themes from a contemporary point of view. And now in its fourth year, Enfoco's Media Arts Fund Work in Progress Initiative is a grant to support early career New York City-based artists of color who engaged with digital media technologies in their art making practices. It is worth noting that applications not selected for these awards are still considered for exhibition opportunities and other purposes each year. We now open up the floor for questions. Again, if you'd like to follow up with us, we could be reached at fellowship at infoco.org.